This is a video response to the homemade water filter setup by NC Hiker 1970. It's billed as an inexpensive DIY project from Drake's workshop. Please take note of the warnings attached to the original video and do your homework before using this filter in the wilderness. I must admit I was really excited when I first saw this video online and I wanted to do this project because if it worked out and it filtered water, it was perfect for the Econo Challenge because you can put this project together as claimed for under $10 US and in fact I've managed to do it for under $10 Canadian. To purify our water today we're using Coughlin's emergency drinking water germicidal tablets. They taste awful. According to the instructions it says add one tablet for every liter of water so we've got two liters of water here that's two tablets and we have to let it sit for 30 minutes. Kill all the bugs. You need a recycled coffee whitener container, a 2 inch o-ring, one Brita pitcher filter replacement, and you can put it all together as easily as this. Now one of the things that we are going to try in this video is we're going to add a piece of 100% cotton cloth. Perfectly clean. It's normally my do-rag but I'm using this for this project and I'm just going to stuff it down into the bottom of the filter to just give it a little extra filter ability. Now for reference, this project weighs about 7 ounces when it's completed, or 198 grams. And the water filter that I normally carry with me weighs 12 ounces, or 330 grams. So if this works out, it's also lighter, a bonus. Actually, the flow rate is a lot slower with the bandana and a lot slower than what I expected. Now what I've done is I've poured off some of the water into these clear Ziploc bags so that we can compare visually the difference between the filtered water and the unfiltered water. Now I don't know how this shows up at home, but out here I can't see the difference. I'm not really concerned about how it looks. The water's been treated, so I know it's safe to drink. What I want to know is if I've improved the taste. According to the packaging, Brita is supposed to deliver great tasting water. This will be a challenge. So let's taste it and see how we did. Cheers. still very germicidal. In the final analysis, I give Drake's Workshop Water Filter Project a big thumbs up for all the reasons I've already mentioned in the video so far. But in my opinion, it's based on technology that wasn't meant for wilderness conditions. I look forward to your comments and thanks for watching.